Hey, 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 how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm your host, Wago Z. Are you still taking your streams from Twitch and uploading them on YouTube without editing? Well, the video is for you. We'll talk about what content is and how to make it. Let's do it. What is content? Content is what you create. That's what you come up with when you post a video. Technically, content is also uploading your live stream from Twitch. But have you ever asked yourself, would you watch two, three, four hours or more of a live stream of someone who you never heard of? Think about it for a second. The honest answer here is no. Do not lie to yourself. Now that we got this out of the way, let's talk about the reasons why someone who will watch anything that you make. Find your niche. Has anyone ever told you that? The easier way to look at this is, who are you targeting with your content? i give you an example. My target is small creators like myself. Now that you know who are you targeting as, we can talk about the type of content that you make. What are you giving to people? Emotions or informations? I'll give an example. I make educational video about streaming and content creation. What are you making? Scripting. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is probably the second hardest step. No joke. It's very hard where at the beginning, when you first start, it gets easier when you get used to it, as everything, by the way. I honestly didn't see the point in scripting in my videos until I actually started doing it, and I saw a huge benefit. It takes me a lot less time to record, because I know exactly what I'm talking about. It's written here right here, <laughs> in front of me. Also, it takes me a lot, a lot less time to edit. Yes, edit. Editing is a crucial step in making content. By editing your video, you polish them, you make them better. What the hell? You can even add graphics. There is no way around it, mate. It also good because you learn a new skill. You never know where you may need it down the track. Last point I wanna to touch is thumbnails. Yes, they are important too. I like to call them your business card to the world because they literally are. That's the first thing a potential viewer sees even before your profile. They can be still or animated. Better may they are, more chances that potential viewers will click on your video. Do you reckon I missed something? Something isn't clear? Slap a comment down below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Over 80% of you, as you can see here, are not subscribed. So please make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell. So you'll be notified next time that I upload the video. Yes, guys, I am well aware that my videos are taking less and less and less and less time. And that's tend to scripting. When I was doing Call of Duty Mobile videos, I was trying to average between 15 and 20 minutes because I wanted to show some gameplay as well along with the information that I was given. Now, it's only about the information, so I don't need as much time. Now, I am a YouTube user as well. Guilty. I do watch my own video as far as, you know, try to review myself and try to get better as well. That I suggest you to, mate. Yes, I do suggest you to. But as well, I watch other creators and I find five minutes to be a good compromise. This is why I try to have my video around that time frame. So it's good enough time to give the information, but not enough time to get people bored. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you got that far into the video. I stream most Fridays at 8 p.m. Australian Central Standard Time. So if you have any question, pop and stream and ask. I don't buy it. All the links are down below in the creator side. Until next time, happy creating.